The Indonesian Navy has decided to procure additional units of the Tefra 40 naval gun systems from Lawson and Tubro, with technology transfer for the assembly of these systems in Indonesia. The Israeli ambassador to India has said that the F-35 fifth generation fighter jets secured Israel's air supremacy, and F-35 procurement can give India a similar edge. The chairman of Kalyani Group has said that Kalyani Strategic Systems has developed a 30mm indigenous turret for the FICV program that has fired perfectly during trials at Balasore. The chairman of Kalyani Group has said that the company has the capability to develop and manufacture 155mm self-propelled tracked howitzers like the K-9 Vajra. Images of DRDO's long-range anti-ship missile along with its transporter erector launcher and the new 300mm Pinnacle guided rocket has emerged on social media. Russia has claimed that the S-500 is capable of intercepting hypersonic missiles including those developed by Western nations with characteristics similar to Russia's Orisnik medium-range ballistic missile. A crucial meeting has been scheduled today at Indian Army headquarters in New Delhi spearheaded by Hindustan Aeronautics, that could prove decisive for the future of the light utility helicopter program. The Rafale F-5 variant will feature an URJ-10 next-generation supersonic highly maneuverable anti-ship missile and TP-15 ultra-low observable subsonic missile. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has announced the development of a supercavitation torpedo for the Indian Navy, that represents a quantum leap in underwater warfare. The Indian Navy has conducted a joint naval drill with Greek Navy in the Arabian Sea. The prospect of India purchasing 40 F-35 from the United States, and Pakistan securing 40 J-35A financed through Chinese loans, has sparked intense discussions about the combat scenario between the Indian Air Force and Pakistan Air Force. Experts have said that the F-35A is a proven multi-role stealth fighter with superior electronic warfare capabilities, and it will have an edge in early detection. The 180 km range AIM 120D and sensor fusion will outmatch the PL-15 of J-35A, and the F-35 can launch a salvo of missiles while remaining outside the engagement envelope of J-35. The F-35 will also dominate in within visual range dogfights with its helmet-mounted display and AIM-9X sidewinder that provides off-bore sight targeting. The chairman and managing director of Bharat Dynamics Limited has said that discussions on local production of the improved Pantsir S-1 air defense missile gun system locally in India are going well. The Pantsir S-1 combines both missile and gun capabilities and integrates 12 surface-to-air missiles with 30 km range and two 30 mm automatic cannons that gives it an ability to simultaneously handle up to four targets moving at speeds of up to 1000 meters per second. The first design of the JAL Carpi Extra Large Unmanned Underwater Vehicle has emerged on social media, that is currently under development for the Indian Navy by Hyderabad-based Rekis Marine Private Limited. It has a displacement of 20 tons, and measures 11 meters in length with a sleek cylindrical hull designed for stealth and hydrodynamic efficiency. It is engineered to operate at depths of up to 300 meters, with 45 days of endurance for anti-submarine warfare and underwater surveillance operations. The Indian Army chief got a live demonstration of the Jaguar ABRC 6x6 armored reconnaissance and combat vehicle. It weighs 25 tons and is powered by a robust 500 horsepower engine, enabling it to reach speeds of up to 90 km per hour and a range of 800 km. Its primary weapon is a 40 mm cannon, Hornet remote weapon system, medium range missiles, and the innovative Galax self defense system. Today's top 3 comments. 